And this is the great trick, you know, this is very well could be how it all plays out, uh, especially to begin with. You know, that the Christians are seen as weak, that those who humble themselves are seen as weak, those that aren't uh, going to join that agenda, they're seen as weak because the New Age is going to want to get rid of them. There's, there's even quotations about that, that, that somehow we're holding it all back. And so the ones that don't follow the pride of this will be seen as the weak ones that need to be hunted. So hunt or be hunted. Join with the beast or be hunted. And Cush begat Nimrod. He began to be a mighty one in the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod the mighty hunter before the Lord, and the beginning of his kingdom was Babylon, Babylon, the seat of all idolatry. Nimrod was famous for Babylon. Nimrod was the first one to bring together a coordinated effort of all mankind to come against the truth of the revealed word of God. Nimrod, the Bible said, was a hunter for souls. My friend, he was a hunter before the Lord. And what he hunted was not deer and elk. He was hunting the souls of men. And the beginning of his kingdom was Babel. So you can trace it all the way back to the beginning that this thing is about seeking the souls of mankind in opposition to the revealed truth of God. not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. King Herod was a foreshadow of the Antichrist. shadow of the Antichrist. Nimrod, rising from destruction. And so the ones that don't follow the pride of this will be seen as the weak ones that need to be hunted. So hunt or be hunted. Join with the beast, or be hunted. Hitler was a foreshadow of the Antichrist. in hunting and in wickedness before the Lord, for he was a hunter of the sons of men. 
and Cush begat Nimrod. He began to be a mighty one in the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod the mighty hunter before the Lord. And the beginning of his kingdom was Babel, and his deadly wound was healed. And all the world wondered after the beast. And they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? And there was given unto him a mouth, speaking great things and blasphemies. And power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God, to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle, and them that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints, and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and faith of the saints. And here we have Nimrod, the mighty hunter in the barren land. The book of Psalms says the rebellious dwell in the barren land. And this is the Babylonian pagan sun deity, the single eye symbolism. And he is the arch enemy of God, firing an arrow in order to steal from the fruit of Israel, of the kingdom of Jesus Christ.